Hey folks, this is Mr. Oluski, and we have a basic conducting tutorial here for you today. I am going to be demonstrating how to conduct in 2-4, then 3-4, and then finally 4-4. So it will be separated into three parts, and we will first start with 2-4. Of course, I'm going to use this conducting tool right here, which is known as a baton, and let's jump into it. All right. Okay, first things first, we need to know how to stand, which is obviously going to be with your feet being at shoulder width apart. Okay, your feet line up with your shoulders, standing up straight, and then you're bringing up your hands in a relaxed position. You don't want your hands to be out like this or have your arms too far back in this manner. Okay, so it needs to be relaxed. Just shake out your arms and then bring up your arms like this, okay? Now, if you do not have a baton, then you can use a pen or a pencil, that will be fine, and it needs to go into your right hand. Never put the baton in your left hand. Um, it is kind of like holding the instrument a certain way. No matter if you're right-handed or left-handed, conductors hold the baton in their right hand, okay? And how you will hold it would be uh, taking your index finger and thumb at the end of your pencil or pen, it will be about an inch, and then you grip, not too tight, and then just wrap your hands around like this, and then your palm is facing down. Okay, so now that you're holding your conducting tool, stand again, shoulder width apart. Bring up your hands in a natural position, and the baton should meet your other hand. So see how I can touch the end like this? That means you're having a kind of like a little circle. Okay, so I'll bring it down and up. Good. Now, how high or how low? Well, what you're gonna do is, I like to go right next to my heart, okay, in the middle of my chest, and that's where the point is gonna be, all right? So, about right here, not up here, not down here, right here, and boom. Okay, and there you go. So that is how you set up, and now let's do time signature two, four, and what that pattern will look like. Conducting pattern two, four. It's going to look like the letter L, okay? So I'm going to do it in a way that is natural for me, and then I'm going to have to mirror, because if you practice with me, it will look opposite, right? So, um, because you're going to want to, like right now, this is my right hand, and if you hold up on the other side, it will be your left hand, right? So I'm going to have to mirror myself, but I will first show you how I normally do it, all right? So this is conducting pattern two. It looks like the letter L. You're going to go up, down to the right, come back to the middle, and up, down to the right, and like that. So down and out, come back, down and out, come back. Okay, so now that is very basic, but we need to highlight something called an ictus. An ictus is similar to when your foot taps the floor when you're keeping a beat, which at this point now, if you're watching this video, you should know how to be keeping a beat while playing your instrument, all right? So what we got is if we're tapping the beat, this is going to be where my ictus is that little starting point that I said before, okay? So we're going to take a deep breath, and it's going to go up like this, and breathe, come down, this will be one, and then come back, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So down and out, come back and up. Down and out, come back and up. And then you give a little click right there. Now I'm going to remove my hand. One, two. One, 
to. Now I'm going to put a little loop here, little loop. The diagram shows it as a straight line. You probably want to do a little loop. I'm not going to go into the details why that is for now, okay? So this is just basic tutorial. And that is conducting pattern 2-4. Left hand does lots of different things, okay? Uh, we don't need to know what that does right now. Just focusing on the right hand. All right, now, there should be some music that's going to come underneath right now. I'll edit that in. And your assignment will be conducting as well as counting this rhythm. And you should be seeing four measures right now. So here we go. And reset. So here's your first example. Up and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, off. Now that off is something else that I'm going to teach right now in, um, well, I'll just do it here. So you're just going to do a small loop and then that cuts off the sound of the musician. Right? So again, shake it out. Bring it up, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, cut. Without my hand here, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, cut. And that is Two, Actually, before we go to 3-4, let me go ahead and reverse it, okay? So, it's going to look a little different now, so you can practice with me. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, cut. That feels very awkward for me. So, I'll try again, and without this... One, two, one, two, one, two, one, cut. Three, four, time signature, three beats to a measure, and it will look like a triangle. You should have already been taught this in the lesson slides before this video, but if I shake it out, bring up, this is what it will normally look like. And one down, out to the right, come back and up. So one, two, three. One small loop, two, three. Without the hand here, two, three. One, two, three. Here's the music here at the bottom. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, cut. Switch it. I'm going to mirror now. And slowly, here we go. And breathe up. One. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Try again. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, cut. That feels so weird. Let's try it again. And without the hand here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, cut. All right, and that's the mirror version. Let's go into four, four. Time signature four, four. Kind of looks like a boat, okay? And highlighted in the lesson slides is right here. This is always going to be the ictus point. We're always clicking right here. If you haven't noticed that before, in the 2-4 and 3-4, we are always clicking right here in the middle of the chest. You may see lots of different diagrams online, but this is what we want to do, okay? Right here, uh, matching our foot tapping. So this is the normal count of four, just take a look, 
One, two, three, four. Down to the left, right, back up. Down to the left, back to the right, and up. So down, small loop, and there you go. Here's with the music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, cut. Now I'm going to try to switch it. And bear with me, this is weird. And one, two, cross your body. Three, out and back up. One, small loop, two, three, four. One, small loop here, so you can get ready to go across your body. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move my hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With the music now, music, okay? One, two, three, four, a little quicker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, cut. So this feels so weird. Remember, this is the mirror side. So typically, I would be holding it in my right hand. All right, I just want you to be able to practice with me. So go ahead, good luck on your flip grid assignment. You're gonna be doing exactly what I showed you with the music in two, four, three, four, and four, four. All right, good luck.